At the end of October 2003, the shuttle fleet remained grounded, and Roscosmos continued to send humans and supplies to the International Space Station at regular intervals. On October 18, 2003, Soyuz TMA-3 launched from Baikonur for the orbiting outpost, carrying Commander Alexander Kaleri from Russia, Flight Engineer Michael Fole from the United States, who would make up Expedition 8, and along with 2nd Flight Engineer Pedro Duque from Spain. After the standard two-day rendezvous orbit, Soyuz TMA-3 docked with the Pierce module on October 20th, 2003. After docking with the ISS, Kaleri and Fole got settled in and conducted a change of crew ceremony with Expedition 7 crew Yuri Melanchenko and Ed Liu. After then, Fole, who was the first American to have served both on the Mir space station and now the International Space Station, would serve as the ISS commander, while Kaleri was the engineer. Pedro Duque performed some ESA-sponsored scientific experiments under the mission named Cervantes, before returning with the Expedition 7 crew aboard Soyuz TMA-2 on October 27, 2003. Once the Expedition 7 crew undocked, Fole and Kaleri settled down to work, beginning a more than six-month stint focused on station operations and maintenance. The Expedition 8 crew conducted the first two-person spacewalk at the International Space Station. Unlike previous spacewalks conducted by ISS crews, there wasn't a crew member inside the station when the spacewalkers were working outside. The spacewalk was based out of the pier's docking compartment, and the spacewalkers were Russian Orlan spacesuits. It was the 52nd spacewalk devoted to space station assembly, operations, and maintenance, bringing the cumulative total of 322 hours and 30 minutes. It was the 27th spacewalk based out of the station, bringing the total of 155 hours and 17 minutes. Three months after Soyuz TMA-2 returned to Earth, and after being docked for five months, Progress M48 undocked on January 28, 2004, to make way for Progress M111. It was deorbited the same day, burning up in the atmosphere over the Pacific Ocean. On January 29, 2004, Progress M111 was launched on a Soyuz U carrier rocket from Site 15 at Baikonur Cosmodrome, loaded with supplies to the International Space Station, including food, water, and oxygen for the crew, and equipment including an Orlon spacesuit, a replacement flex hose for the Destiny module, a new electron oxygen generator with spare parts for the electrons already on board, some oxygen generator candles, spare batteries, a new fire detection and suppression system, a gas analysis system, cameras, data cassettes, and an external experiment package for the Svezda module. Progress M111 docked with the aft port of the Svezda module on January 31st, 2004. It remained docked for four months before undocking on the 24th of May to make way for Progress M49. Following undocking, Progress M111 remained in orbit for 10 days, conducting tests of its attitude control system. It was finally deorbited on the 3rd of June and burnt up in the atmosphere over the Pacific Ocean. On April 19th, 2004, Soyuz TMA-4 launched atop a Soyuz FG launch vehicle from Bankinor Cosmodrome. Gennady Paladaka from Russia and Michael Fink from the United States and Andre Kuipers from the Netherlands were flown to the International Space Station.
after the standard two-day rendezvous orbit. Soyuz TMA-4 docked with the Navy report in Zarya on April 21, 2004. After more than a week of joint operations and handover activities, Padalka and Fink officially took command of the station on April 29th. Andres Kuypers would join Michael Fole and Alexander Kaleri and return to Earth nine days after docking with the ISS. The crew used TMA-3's re-entry module, leaving the ISS on April 29th and soft landing in Kazakhstan just after midnight on April 30th. The Expedition 9 crew conducted four spacewalks during its stay at the International Space Station. The four spacewalks were devoted to ISS maintenance and assembly. All four were based out of the Pier stocking compartment and used Russian Orlan spacesuits. Next to launch to the ISS was Progress M49 on May 25, 2004. After the standard two-day rendezvous orbit, the spacecraft docked with the airport of the Svezda module on the 27th of May and remained docked for two months before undocking on July 30th to make way for Progress M50. The spacecraft burned up in the atmosphere over the Pacific Ocean with any remaining debris landing in the ocean. On August 11, 2004, Progress M50 was launched on a Soyuz U carrier rocket from Site-15 at Bankanor Cosmodrome. After a slightly longer rendezvous orbit, Progress M50 docked with the aft port of the Svezda module on August 14, 2004. With these expedition and multiple progress resupplies, Roscosmos showed that it was more than capable of taking over while the shuttle fleet was still grounded. And our Russian partners have taken this responsibility totally on their shoulders for the time being while we bring shuttle back. And it demonstrates the strength of a partnership where we can rely on each other's resources, strengths to balance each other's weaknesses. And this is really significant for the whole partnership for the space station. 